Good morning, Fall City Middle School. It is Thursday, August 24th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, everybody. Uh, happy Thursday. Almost through your first week of school, and we should be rocking and rolling here, getting stuff done for lunch today. Everybody's favorite, chicken flatbread, or gratin potatoes, California veggies, and applesauce. And tomorrow is the old Mr. Craft special, the Stromboli, green beans, and cooked carrots and pears. Uh, let's see. Happy birthday, Tatum Maddox. It's her real birthday. Hopefully Tanner does something nice for you today. Get Grandma Ann to take you out for dinner. It'd be great. Tell her Mr. Bangert said, take your granddaughter out for dinner. All right, so have a great day, Tatum. Uh, let's see. Announcement. Sixth graders. Uh, oh, this is important. Tomorrow, we have school pictures. Okay, so be ready for school pictures. Um, when you're done taking your... This is just for sixth grade, though. After school pictures tomorrow, sixth graders, when you're done taking your school photos, come over here to the office, and we are going to take your picture in front of the um, screen here at, in the, by the office, because what we do is when you go to promotion, we do your before and after picture, before middle school, after middle school, because most of you are going to grow like three feet, all right? And after watching you guys in um, recess yesterday, you guys got a lot of growing to do, because some of you guys come up to my hip, except Brody Scholl. Brody, you just keep on growing, buddy. That's a good thing. Need somebody over five foot ten in our district, so... Good job, Brody. You're doing your part. So keep growing, but sixth graders, after we take our picture, come on over. We'll take your picture here in front of the screen. And like I said, when you leave us as eighth graders, we put that up a promotion on a slideshow so everybody can see. All righty. A-OK -okay of the day, because I don't believe I have any announcements. Remember, don't touch each other. I've seen more touchy touch. Okay, no touching and hygiene, guys. With this heat, I know it's hard because we have PE, some of you have weights, um, you have recess, but really deodorize sixth grade. I'm hearing a lot of stinkiness is coming out of the sixth grade, okay? So um, some of you may be meeting with me about stinkiness, and if it's really bad, I may call your parents and have you go home and change, all right? But only if it's something first period because that's something you can control. When you're sweating during school, I get it. Um, the end of the day just tends to get a little raunchy um, because it's so hot. So I, I understand, but make sure you guys are showering every day. It's not an every other day thing, every day, okay? A-OK -okay of the day is going out to Rhea Burks Gordman. Rhea, all right. Super friend of the young sixth grader. Know her from recess. The A-OK -okay is going from Miss Van Kowser out to Rhea for holding the door open so several students could enter the building for breakfast. Thanks for being so respectful to others in the building. Great job, Rhea or as she likes to be called, Rhea. So good job. All right, now, uh, words of wisdom for this Thursday. Have you ever heard this old expression? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Getting an education is a lot like that. Teachers can lead you to the fountain of knowledge, but you have to choose to drink. You have to choose to take in the information and make good use of it. The Chinese say the same thing another way. Teachers open the door, but you must enter yourself. Today, be aware of the choices you make every day in regard to your education. Remember, your teachers are holding the door open to a more successful future. Are you going to step through? I think this is a great message for all of you. You all are now in middle school, and like I told your parents, I can't make you do anything, and neither can the teachers. We can only offer you the education, and you have to actually engage. So if you're not engaging, not good. That's something you got to work on in the family. Because my job is to make sure that all of us are offering you the chance to be great. But if you don't seize it, you don't seize that education, not much we can do for you. All right? So make sure you do that because the consequences for your generation are dire if you do not have an education. With something to think about is Mr. Banger, make it a great day or not. The choice is always yours. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.